In the video coming up, we will look at the merger of Chrome OS and Android. So for the last year, there's been a lot of rumors about Chrome OS and Android merging as one platform. It's very difficult to know what the end outcome will be. Now, it's highly likely that that is going to be the case, but there's a lot of things that make you think, well, it can't just happen overnight and would it really work? The good news is that Android OS and Chrome OS both work off a Linux kernel. So they're already very closely interlinked, for example, it's only it's been quite a few months now where if you go to your menu down the bottom, all of this is Android, exactly the same as your phone. So they've already been working closely together as well. And Android apps, you've been out on your Chromebook for some time. And that, again, they come from Android originally. They now work on your Chrome OS computer. The thing with Android apps is that although Android apps are great, they're great in your phone, some Android apps on a Chromebook are still no good because they are made for a mobile screen. So I'm sure that is a major reason why as well, because they want to be more like Apple, where it doesn't matter whether you're using your phone, whether you're using a laptop, whether you're using a tablet, you get a really good seamless experience. Like on this Chromebook now here, if we twist it around and put it into tablet mode, this is Chrome OS and this took a while to get as good as it was. When it first started Chrome OS in tablet mode, it was really, really clunky, but it's much better than it was previously. So it does make sense when you consider you've got Chrome OS and they've developed it to the point that you can be in tablet mode and you can use it just like you would with an Android tablet, for example, but this is Chrome OS and with an Android tablet, you'd be using Android OS. It does make sense. Why would you have all of those developers developing two separate platforms? But if you ever look at different blogs online, you will notice nobody really has the answer of what will happen because there's lots of things to consider. First of all, as far as Android apps are concerned, it would be a good thing because if all developers are working off just one platform, it makes it much easier than working on two separate platforms. Yes, they're, they're always going to be de de developing Android apps for a mobile phone or a tablet over Chrome OS. And that's why a lot of Android apps don't work. Well, not a lot, but some of the Android apps are not very good on your Chromebook. But when it comes to Chrome OS, like I said, there's already things we can see where it looks a lot more like Android, like I said, the menu down here. I'm sure that will be the case in the future as well. But there are some things that Android doesn't have that Chrome OS does have. For example, the desktop experience in Chrome OS is fantastic. And that's why they want to merge them together to make them work just as good whether you're using an Android tablet or a Chrome OS computer. And then you've got Linux. Now Linux obviously is really good. If you've got Linux installed on your Chromebook, you can install Linux programs. That's no major issue because you do get that also on Android. So that will be coming in the future as well. You can already get it on some Pixel based products like your phones or tablets. You could, you could experiment with the Linux on your phone. And I can't imagine that Google would go to an extent of if they did merge them both together, that they would get rid of Linux. I just don't see that would not be a very good thing to do. But there is a few other things what make you think, well, I can't say this is that easy to do overnight anyway, because the one thing what's good about Chrome OS is that it's secure. Now, I'm not saying Android OS isn't secure, but it's not as secure as Chrome OS. You've got verified boots. There's, there's about four different security features on the Chromebook that you don't really get on Android. And I can't imagine if they ever merge them together. They, it may be that they merge them as in, and it just all becomes under Android OS. We simply do not know, but I can't imagine they would say, okay, and that's, that's what we've done. And yes, it does mean that you've lost all these security features because that isn't going to sell well. At the moment, they sell really well in the education market. And they're also trying to sell a lot more Chrome OS in the enterprise market as well. And to do that, it's a lot to do with security features. When you look at all the things that happen in the world, certainly when there's hacks on, on 
big brands it, it has a real impact and a lot of that is what when we look at chrome os and how they're trying to market it to the business world is because of how secure chrome os is and you don't get the same thing with android os because it's more open so there's a lot to consider to merge these two operating systems together so this is pure speculation as because as i said nobody really knows the most likely scenario would be that it will eventually be an Android operated system that runs Chromebooks, but they still would need to deal with all the other things because it's merging Chrome OS and Android together. So it's taking the best of both and putting them together. So the, although it may run under Android, I'm sure all of the Chrome OS experience would still be there. It would be silly for Google to take away that experience, especially around the security point of view and how fast Chromebooks are to boot. Android phones are fast as well, but it's just a to it's a different experience to what you get in Chrome OS. So yeah, I can't I don't know how long this is going to take, and I can't imagine that it's going to happen overnight. Now there are some rumors that Google are also looking at a new Pixel Book, and that has also created rumors that perhaps this new Pixel Book will be running on the new operating system under Android OS. Again, we simply don't know. So for now, what I would say is just watch this space and see what happens. But I can't imagine anything changing anytime soon. And I don't think it would have an impact on anyone who runs their Chromebook because we simply do not know at the moment what will be happening in the future. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.